Hey guys, let's talk about Ghana versus Niger. Ghana won, Niger zero. Or let me say it rightly, Niger won, Ghana won. And guys, Charlie, it was really a terrible performance from the Black Stars of Ghana. I watched this game and I was really upset. I wasn't happy about what I saw. Ghana Black Stars did not really show why we must give them the, the moral support. Ghana Black Stars did not show why the nation must throw all their weight behind them. The Black Stars of Ghana were lazy. The Black Stars of Ghana were lethargic. They are not the guys that we... They are not the guys that can represent the nation Ghana because I look at this game and I'm like, oh my god, you are playing against Niger. Niger, bro, Niger. If you are playing against Niger and you cannot uh, impose your impose yourself, create multiple chances. Look, Otoado, it is not only enough to play possessive brand of football. I mean, come on, you can play possessive brand of football and be like Bailey, and be like Bailey because Bailey played possessive brand of football and barely failed in the Premier League. And that is what Ghana is doing because we are trying to we are trying, we are trying to pass the ball from left to right. But we are not creating chances, we are not scoring goals, and we are conceding. How can you go against Mali and then win against Mali, come against Central African Republic, win against Central African Republic, and then just try and qualify to the Africa Cup of Nations? And you cannot play convincing brand of football. You cannot play football that will make out oh God. Ghana is finished. Ghana is finished. When you check our, our everything as Ghana, we are finished. When you check the political side, the footballing side, Everything in Ghana is, is is going down, and the only hope of Ghana is the Black Stars of Ghana. Go and make sure we can at least get a, get a win against Niger. Look, even if you won against Niger, I mean Ghanaians were not going to applaud you because Niger are not a footballing nation. Niger don't even have a, st a stadium to play in their country. Oh my God! But let's get into the game. Let's get into the game. So the first half started with, with the Black Stars of Ghana wearing our red, our red top, our away jersey, and then Niger was wearing white. And I was thinking this was going to be a game where Ghana Black Stars were going to dominate, dominate, and and impose our dominance upon them. I mean, make sure they don't create any chance. And in the first half, look, this has been the the worst game that I have seen from Utahado ever since he came back. Look. I saw Ghana play against Nigeria, and at least when you saw that game, you could see that Ghana wanted to do something. We could pass the ball, and then we we're trying to create chances. In the first half, we were, we were the worst game. The players were, were, were the worst team. The players were not running. Kudus was not running. Pate was not running. Minimso was running. Nanyu, Pate was not running. Ashimeru was also not working as I wanted him to work. Look, and the player who was trying to impose himself in the game was Mohamed Salisu. You could see him passing the ball. You could see him making important decisions in the game. You go away against Niger and you cannot win against Niger. Come on, are we serious? Look, this this is this is a game that we really need to talk about. And the sad thing of all is now you are playing possessive football. Okay, you are playing possessive football. We understand. You are playing the ball on a very good pitch too, and we understand. Oh, Bobo no pitch, not say pitch. No one can one one Bobo in time. How do you score goals? You are trying to play the ball at your own pace. When, when you need to score one or two or three goals to send a message to the likes of Senegal, send a message to Angola, send a message to Sudan that, look, it was the bad pitch in Kumasi that really made sure that you were not going to win the game. But no, I don't know why Coach Otto Ado, at his level, coaching in Germany, coaching for, for Dortmund, doing a lot of scouting just for the Black Stars of Ghana, we told the boys to play at a slow pace. The build-up was slow, the passing was slow, and we were not able to create chances. No urgency. And to what I say, are they players no more now? You ask yourself, are they really serious about playing football for the Black Stars of Ghana? If they're not serious, probably let's get players who are who are serious. So I was thinking Otohado will probably bring on Ebenezer Hanan, bring on the likes of Osman Ibrahim from Brighton and, uh, and Hove Albion, bring on players who want to show something because Semenyo was not up to it. We were not seeing Semenyo, we were not seeing Kudus Mohamed, and we were not seeing um, Thomas Tepati very well, even though he was doing his the normal, usual sort of Thing, Thomas Partey should, should have given at least more creative passes. It's not only it's not all about dominance. Charlie, it's really, really a very sad game to watch in, in all. Very, very underwhelming performance and very terrible performance from the from the black stars of Ghana. And you know, in the first half, I can't even remember how many shots on targets we had. 
we were not we we're just passing the ball around, ball around at a point in time the commentator even said that uh, uh ghana is having a training a training training part a, a, a training field we're, we're training yeah oh god Charlie, 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 Charlie. but i mean so while we're playing the game ali said scored for the black stars of ghana and <coughs> i mean the way the thing went i wasn't even expecting a goal from ghana in the first half because we didn't even play anything we didn't play anything in the first half so i mean just a rare attempt he was just shooting the ball and i think i don't know whether the weight of the wind carried the ball out, along and then confused the goalkeeper or the goalkeeper was just not good enough eh? and we did not we were not shooting the first half the goalkeeper wasn't good enough or and we were not shooting the first half too so what was the problem really oh my god i can't understand what is happening at the black star somebody has to explain to me that what what is utadu doing Look, it is true that we do not like resulting brand of football. That is very true. But at least, if you are playing possessive, possessive brand of football, at least try and create chances. Try and score opponents. Try and make sure that it's not only dominance, it's dominance by scoring goals. And that is what Pep Guardiola does well. He makes sure that he will dominate you and score you too. You can't only have possession. Now we have Bobona say, oh, 69% possession. And now they call him. What the coin? You need to win matches too. For me, I'm still not convinced about uh, Lawrence Atizigi whether he can be Ghana's number one. Cause you see, Atizigi is like a very good shot stopper. But looking at the kind of ball we want to play, I think Ghana needs a good goalkeeper now. Or Ghana needs a goalkeeper that can compete with him. And it looks like Frederick Asari can do that job. And then Jojo Aloko too is not very good with passing the ball from the back. So I think Ghana needs to find a good goalkeeper. Cause you see. Ali Seydou didn't really have much to do. Uh, Atiziki didn't really have much to do today. But if it was the game, you realize that anytime you have ball banner to name, if you're a goalkeeper, how do you concede such a goal against uh, Mijer? How were you organizing your back line? Eh? Otoado Baye, 10 games for the Black Stars of Ghana, and we've considered almost like 10 goals. I mean, six games for the Black Stars of Ghana, we've considered 10 goals. It's, it's so sad. Atiziki's shot-stopping ability, uh, shot ability is not really something that I will question. But I think that when it comes to passing the ball from the back, trying to help his, uh, his two centre-backs uh, to progress the ball, I think he doesn't really do well much. And uh, moving forward, if we want to play this brand of football, possessive, attacking, dominant brand of football, we need a better goalkeeper. I don't understand why Thomas Ter Party was playing as a number 8 in this game. I think that... If you cannot play Thomas Step Party as a number six, you probably have to bench him because you see Thomas Step Party has lost this ability to be doing this box to box work. He is no Michael Asian. No. His best game ability is to play as probably as a number six. And I've seen uh Kusia Pia in his days playing as a number ten behind the striker. And we watch this game, you and you watch this game and you ask yourself. Even though he was trying to dominate play, he wasn't running. He wasn't making sure uh, he was doing the box to box work very well. So I was thinking that you probably put Ashimeru, you probably put Ashimeru as a number eight, and then put Party as your number six. So that at least Party will do what he does as, as uh, Party will do what, what he does at us now, and Ashimeru will be doing his box to box and ball progression. And I don't know why Utada did that, but I don't understand it. I need somebody else to explain to me why Ashimeru was playing as a number six, and then Party was playing as a number eight in this particular game. But also. Uh, uh, all in all, you could see that they were playing passive, or you could see that they were playing possession football, but it wasn't really a game out of urgency. Look, me, I have no commendation for Niger. Niger, you team be a CCN, you know, you can't come and because Niger, oh my god, we could have beaten Niger 3 4 no, if we were serious. We, I, I mean, in, uh, there, were there were times when even there were times when Yaki had a chance where he could have buried the ball in the, in the back of the net. There were times when uh, Kudus Mama could have scored, you know, all these chances. But my point is, Nigeria were not playing any football. So imagine if you are playing against Nigeria and you are struggling this match, how can you play against the likes of Morocco, the likes of Senegal, the likes? Then we don't really deserve to be at the Afcon. Oh God, we can't, there are no excuses anymore. We've run, out, we, we have run out of excuses because you see, in the game against Angola and Kumasi, we said that. Uh, pitch in there, yeah. the pitch is not good enough and we're complaining about the pitch and everything and we lost 1-0 today we were given a very good pitch and still we couldn't play what we are supposed to play and the people saying that Ashmeru should have started Ashmeru should have, Ashmeru should have started and of course when Ashmeru started Ashmeru started today and uh, uh, how do you call it uh, with, with, together with party we saw Ashmeru we saw party and still we weren't able to play what we want to play I don't know what the problem is so this one once I, I can't understand, I think I'll blame the coach because we need to get answers and start winning. And as much as we are rebuilding, Ghana needs to win matches. Mm? I, I, 
like overall this game is really sad when i sit down i ask myself are the guys really really interested in playing for the black stars and not say season is starting and change almost trauma night i don't understand however the truth is that Ghana played a bit well in the second half i mean you could see that they were passing the ball very well they were creating chances then the, the second half was better than the first half but the thing is if you have one goal lead it's not enough it's not enough Otoadu has to pick a thing from Jurgen Club or Pep Guardiola. If you score one, you have no more the match. Make sure you can score two, three, four. That's why we have the best African player on the planet now with Mohamed Kudus. We have the best players like Inyaki Williams, Thomas Party. Look, you should be able to be on the boys and score. And I don't understand Fatah Wissahaku. Fatah Wissahaku looked like he wasn't really interested in playing on the left. He wanted to play on the right. So when the coach switched sides, or I don't know whether the players switched sides themselves, he was he was making continuous offsides. Or your offsides are he made about six offsides. Eh? Now referee was able pay 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 pay. Today was like a terrible game for the black stars in all. I wasn't impressed. I wasn't even I, I don't I, oh my god. I wasn't even like oh my god. How? Oh, are we serious as a nation? Hmm? Ref, the referee was biased towards Niger because I even though there was, a, there was a time when Ghana had a there was a time when Ghana had a, a corner kick. He, just, he didn't give to Ghana. I was like, ah, this guy. And Otoado has to fix our defensive problems. Because you see, if we can't concede 10 goals in, in we can't concede 10 goals in our last six games. No, we can't. Otoado has to fix our defensive problems. You play with Juku Amate, you concede. You play with Juku Salish, you concede. You play with Juku Alidu, you, you concede. You play with Juku Moomin, you concede. Hmm. And the saddest thing of all is we concede in the dying minutes of the game. It happened in uh, it happened in uh, in the Afcon. It's, it happened in the in the first one friendly match Ghana versus Nigeria. It happened in the Ghana versus Uganda, and it's happening again today. I mean, I can't understand why we are conceding this late goals. So after playing two games for the Black, after playing two games for the Black Stars of Ghana, Ghana has one out of six points. Uh, very very shambolic. I mean, we are on point with Niger. And then I mean, if Angola, Angola or Sudan win, one of them will go six points, and then the pressure will be on Ghana in the next international break to be Ghana versus Sudan back to back. Can we take six points from Sudan? Christian Pearson, I don't think so. I don't think so because there's something really missing. The urgency, the urgency. If players are not ready to play, bench them. If party doesn't want to play, bench them. If Kudus or bench, bench them and get players who are hungry to play for the Black Stars of Ghana. And I, I don't understand why uh, uh, Thomas Asante was playing on the wing and then Jordan was playing in the box. I think that it was going to be the reverse. Jordan will be on the wing and Thomas Asante will be on the uh, will be in the box. But all in all, watching this game, I think that the only positive that I will give is uh, Tariq Lamptey. Oh my god, what a player. He brings calmness to the right backs. I think he's taking the right back position. No competition there. He's going to play. Ghana needs a left back. I mean, I would say this quite a good, but I mean, it wasn't good enough. And I think that these are things that we can really talk about. We need to see the Blacks of Ghana playing very well. I'm really sad. I'm really hungry. I'm really angry at what is happening in the Blacks of Ghana. I think that we can do better. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section. The best yet to come. Bye for now.